watching the Linux Unix Tech Channel, and now, here's your host, Data Pioneer. Good morning, everybody. Data Pioneer here with the Linux Unix Tech Channel, and today is Monday, January 24th, 2022. Glad to see everybody. Uh, it's been a while since I've been up on the channel, so I thought I would come up today and uh, show you a uh, terminal file manager you may not have heard of. And that terminal file manager is called Ranger. So we'll get into Ranger here in a second. I'm out on my Farron OS Linux system, my favorite daily driver. And if I go out to a website here uh, called vitux.com, it talks about how to install the Ranger terminal file manager on Linux. And uh, so let's read a little bit about Ranger. It says Ranger is a lightweight and powerful file manager that works in a terminal window. It comes with the Vi key bindings and offers a smooth way to move into directories, view files, and content, or open an editor to make changes to files. All right, so that's the vitux.com. I'll put a link to this down below in the video. Let's go out here to my terminal, to my uh, desktop again. And this is a uh, uh, Farron OS system that I have, it's my daily driver. I've been using it now for a little over two years, and uh, I'm not looking to change uh, distros anytime soon. This is a great operating system. I highly recommend it. It's called Farron OS, and this is the 20, uh, 2021, I believe, uh, build of Farron OS Linux based on Ubuntu. So let's go out to the terminal, and uh, what I want to do first is pull up a man page on Ranger, show you there is a man page associated with it. it says that Ranger is a visual file manager and here's the synopsis for it uh, here's the description Ranger is a console file manager with Vi key bindings VI by the way is uh, Vim and if you're uh, familiar with Vim editor you can you'll be familiar with the uh, environment here that uh, Ranger offers um, and so if going down here there's some options associated with Ranger you can take a look at those. You're, you've got some concepts, tags, and previews of Ranger itself. So this is the man page for Ranger in the terminal. Let me go ahead and close that, and let's clear the screen and clean up the terminal. And since I'm using the Aptitude Package Manager, I want to see if Ranger is already installed on my system. I know it is, but I'll show you. You can run a sudo apt search. Uh, for Ranger, put in my password, and uh, it brings up the list of uh, approximations of things, the packages that Ranger is involved in. Here is Ranger down here, and it is a uh, focal um, derivative of, of, of Ubuntu, and so um, it is installed, as you can see here, it says installed. And it talks about the description again of what Ranger is. All right, so let's go ahead and clear the screen, clean up the terminal. And um, if you're running something other than uh, Farron, if you're not more Ubuntu or Debian, Linux, uh, or Debian, however you want to pronounce it, uh, if you're running, for instance, uh, F Fedora or um, Alma Linux, you would use the RPM Package Manager or DNF. And um, for RPM would be your... Uh, Red Hat Package Management System. You would use DNF uh, and uh, you can install Ranger the same way. If you're using Arch Linux, you can run the package management command for Arch and install Ranger just as easily. And since I'm using Aptitude, I'll do that. And so what I'll do is I'll do a sudo apt install Ranger and you can see that it says that it's already installed. All right. We saw that with the search command that we used earlier. So let's clear the screen, clean up the terminal, and let's go ahead and launch Ranger. So we'll just type in Ranger, that's the way to, to launch it in the terminal, and here we are. And so it uses the color coding that's associated with the your typical terminal in uh, the Aptitude Package Management System. Blue corresponds to directories, and uh, and you've got your other color coding uh, as well here. So you've got media files, uh, track one wave, which is purple. All right. 
and then you've got other things that we'll look at. All right, so I'm in um, Data Pioneer is the uh, username, and I'm on the Dan Dash Farron OS, which is my host name. So I'm in the Home Data Pioneer Applications directory. And if I come on down, here's my Documents directory, and got music, pictures, and videos. All right, so let's come back up to Documents. So here's the directory, and uh, if you look off here, it says 137. It's kind of hard to see here uh, with the way the color coding is set up, but you can fix that. All right, so we've got 137 uh, objects over here, and so if I come on over, we've got subdirectories and files as well. And so I'm going to come over in here, and so uh, if you do a right arrow over, now we're into the subdirectories of the uh, documents directory, as you can see here. And so I'm in the, uh, let's come on down to, it's uh, a good one here, this one here, which is Neo4j. So I'm in the Neo4j subdirectory of documents. And then if I come over, one more right arrow, and we can get into the actual files. This is a subdirectory called TSP. And then these, these are files. And if you look, the atsp.txt file off to the right shows you the contents of that file. Export.csv shows you the contents of that file. And uh, Gen3 database, DBMS, cipher.txt shows you the cipher text associated with the file. So the, in other words, the file content. And then finally, the neo4j query.txt shows you that as well. All right, so let's go back and do a left arrow, get back into um, the directories, um, now the directory called Documents. And then if we do one more left arrow, uh, that takes us back to Data Pioneer. And uh, you can see now we're in the um, other directories that we can get into. And so here we're in the Downloads directory. And so if we come across with a right arrow, uh, you can get into other subdirectories here. And so let's look at one of those. One of those might be the, um, let's see, uh, let me find a good one. Zotero mm, Linux x86-64. That's a uh, folder that uh, I downloaded and extracted. Let's come back up to another one. Um, Firefly, okay. So we've got a PDF file uh, off to the right here uh, in Firefly. And so if I right arrow over and highlight that particular PDF file in this window, or this pane here, it shows the contents of that file off to the right-hand side. So this is a, a neat thing to have be able to do. And if we do a right arrow again, then it actually pulls the file up in um, Ocular okay which is my PDF reader alright so that you can see that you can actually pull up the uh, the file itself in a reader or the uh, default application for whatever the extension is on your file here I've got a PDF so Ocular is my default application for reading PDF files alright so let me go ahead and close that get back into the terminal here and so let's go back we're in uh, Firefly now we're in documents again let's go down to music and so with music, uh, off to the right, you can see we have uh, intro music, we've got iTunes, we've got miscellaneous. So if I go to miscellaneous, uh, what I'm going to do here is take a look at uh, music that, uh, that I have up on my system. And so here's one, and I'm only going to play a very short blurb of this because I don't want to get a copyright... Uh, strike here in YouTube but if I hover over no more uh, I love you dot mp3 and hit the enter key okay so it played the music I don't know if you could hear that or not but it played the music and so it pulls up the default uh, application for playing music on the system which in my case is uh, the um, uh, the application I've got. I think it's uh, 
believe I have it set up for VLC Media Player, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so let's come back over miscellaneous music. We've got, uh, let's look at the videos uh, folder. And so the videos folder here, we've got videos off to the right-hand side. And if I right arrow over there, I can navigate over to those as well. And I'm going to bring up um, one of these that I have, one of these videos that I have that I can play. Here's the SpaceX uh, Turk mission uh, launch. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit the enter key. All right. And so it's playing that. All right, so it played that video, and it played it in VLC Media Player. And uh, and so that's, uh, you know, it pulls it right up. So this is actually better than getting into your file manager uh, on the system itself, and uh, because you can stay in the terminal if you want to. And you've got a file manager in the terminal, which is Ranger, that lets you do just everything that uh, you could do in the GUI, um, practically, and uh, or, or more, probably. And so let's go back over, and so we're at Home Data Pioneer, Home, and then if I go one more over, I'm actually in the file system now. And so here you can see the file structure of Linux uh, and the Farron OS system, and so I'm in SBIN directory, SRV, SYS, the temp directory, uh, user directory, and var. And then I can go over and I can go to var, let's say var log. Hit that, and then I can go over and take a look at the uh, history log. Okay, and so if I hover over the history log, here's the history log on the right-hand side that I can uh, scroll up and down and uh, review that log if I need to review the log for any reason and uh, look at that from the file system okay so uh, let's go ahead and uh, get back over to here and to get out of the Ranger you just hit the Q and that escapes and quits the application so let me clear the screen get out of the terminal and uh, so let's run Ranger this time and this time let's say Let's run the uh, option show uh, only uh, DIRs, only directories, okay? And so now when it pulls Ranger up, it's actually only going to show you directories. It's not going to show you files. And, uh, and so you can stay uh, in directory looking at directories only and not looking at anything other than directories. And, um, and that way it'll, it'll keep it clean for you if directories is all you need to pay attention to in your session of Ranger. All right. Okay, so this has been a quick look at uh, Ranger, the uh, file manager for the Linux terminal. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up on the video and that'll make me grow my channel or help me to grow it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate that. And so this has been a Data Pioneer with the Linux Unix Tech Channel. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.